Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Laron. We back with another video. You see the thumbnails that this video is about, so let's get straight into it. So, we got Kyle Rittenhouse is about to sue people in the media for calling him a murderer. Now, I want to unpack a few things. One, I want to see the definition of a murderer. Is it synonymous with the definition of a killer? And I want to play the interview that Kyle Rittenhouse had with Tucker Carlson on Fox News. And I want to give you my commentary during it. So if you want to see the full interview in its entirety, I'll put the link in the description box below so you can check it out for yourself, right? But Cal Rittenhouse is now suing the media for calling him a murderer. And he called out, you know, people by names. Like he called out Whoopi Goldberg, said, yeah, I'm coming for Whoopi Goldberg. So Whoopi Goldberg, she already had her issues with the, um, the anti-Semitic comments on The View. Now she will have her issues with Cal Rittenhouse here. And for those that's new to my channel or just came across this video, I've always been a... Um, I could say I'm team Kyle Rittenhouse if I had to choose, right? Because I never liked the fact that they try to use Kyle Rittenhouse situation to say that he killed black people and he didn't do that. And a lot of people did not know that he didn't kill black people. And once people found out he didn't kill black people, they still trying to say that he's a white supremacist. And I was like, all right, you lost me with that. So just for that, I was team Kyle Rittenhouse. I was like, all right, I will, you know what I'm saying? I'm on his side in this situation because I don't like the way they was using him as a pawn even on both sides, as far as the conservatives and the liberals, both, both using this 17-year-old kid as a pawn for their political views, right? I never liked that. I never liked that at all. You know what I'm saying? It was a crazy time, crazy situation, and he was attacked. And some can argue that the four people that attacked him, the only person he didn't shoot was a black man. A black man did attack him, and he walked away. But there was three other people that attacked him, and two of them died, and the other one was injured. So, and the black man walked away. So... I don't see how that's white supremacy, but I digress on that. But let me get into this definition of murderer. All right. So right here, according to Wikipedia and Google, a murderer, murderer is the unlawful killing of another human being without justification or valid excuse, especially the unlawful killing of another human with malice afterthought. The state of mind may depend upon the jurisdiction. Distinguish murder from other forms of unlawful, unlawful homicide, such as manslaughter. So, you see it right there, Wikipedia says that's what it is, right? So, I mean, if that's the definition and he was found innocent, and these people prior and after and during his trial call him a murderer, I don't know, maybe he might have a case. Like, think about it with um cardi b sued tasha k for things that she said and cardi b won that case and it was, it, was a, it was a decent amount of money too so cardi b i think got what three million dollars something like that i'm not sure but let me know in the comments but cardi b did get a, a decent amount of money for that case but let's pull up this uh interview with tucker carlson and uh kyle rentenhouse speaking about suing these folks for calling him a murderer see i thought it was synonymous with a killer you call him a kill. He didn't kill, but he didn't murder, according to the, the uh, definition. Is after a full year of watching these people lie in order to imprison a kid for the rest of his life, who's going to hold the liars accountable? Kyle Rittenhouse, understandably, has thought a lot about this. He joins us tonight to explain his plan going forward. Kyle, thanks so much for coming on tonight. I, don't, I can't think of many people who've been at the receiving end of this much sinister lying from so-called news organizations as you have, how are you going to respond? Well, Tucker, thank you for having me. Um, of course. Me and my team have decided to launch the Media Accountability Project as a tool to help fundraise and hold the media accountable for the lies they said and deal with them in court. So my man got a logo and an acronym. So he's not playing. The Media Accountability Project. She's not playing. So Kyle Rittenhouse is really coming at the media in this aspect. And like I said, it's interesting to see how this play out. Let's continue. Interesting. So the idea is it, uh, maybe like the Covington Catholic kids, you will be suing news organizations that maliciously lie about people who are in the news. Is, is that the plan? Yes, sir. We're going to be holding them accountable, Tucker. So for what I get from this, it's not just with him. It could be with anybody that's, you know, they, they just dragging their name throughout the whole 
mud in, in media like that because that does happen a lot and a lot of times people are not held accountable when they don't use facts like i had some videos i ain't gonna lie that i was just talking wild reckless with no real information and luckily i'm a small youtuber at the time and i i wasn't held accountable for my my words like tasha k you know what i'm saying was held accountable with cardi b so that could happen and if this is an organization that he's coming up with and people get behind it I mean, it's going to change the game. It's really going to change the game. Let's continue. Do you, exp I mean, I, I guess I have to ask a kind of a dumb question, but you know, why isn't there a group like this that exists already since the media so often are not observers, they're players, they're participants in the news. Why hasn't someone done this before? That's a good question, Tucker. And I'm not sure to be honest, but I don't want to see anybody else have to deal with what I went through. So I want to hold them accountable for what they did to me because I don't want to see anybody have to go through what I went through. Yeah, I mean, they tried to imprison you for the rest of your life. It wasn't coverage, it was advocacy. You have a lot of potential targets to sue yourself. Will you be suing any of these news organizations? And if so, when? Um, well, right now we're looking at quite a few uh, politicians, celebrities, athletes. Whoopi Goldberg's on the list. She Man, he called he said politicians, athletes, celebrities, and he said Whoopi Goldberg. He said, All right, he went straight for Whoopi Goldberg is on the list. And um there was clips I did see of Whoopi Goldberg calling Kyle Rittenhouse a murderer. So, I mean, it's on tape. Called me a murderer after I was acquitted by a jury of my peers. She went on to still say that. And there's others. Don't forget about Sank from the Young Turks. He called me a murderer before verdict and continues to call me a murderer. And um, Sank from the Young Turks, I did see a video with him. He was basically saying that, yeah, Kyle Rittenhouse went and uh, shot black people. He, he, no, he didn't say it, but he, he, um, he gave the impression that he did that. And that's why I, like, I didn't like videos like that. You know what I'm saying? He gave the impression, and if you watch it, without looking into it, you will believe him because he was so convinced in how he said it, but he didn't say it per se. You know what I mean? But let's continue. Interesting. And, and what about the people who called you groundlessly a white supremacist, which makes it pretty hard to get a job for the rest of your life if you're a white supremacist? Well, it depends on where you apply. You know what I'm saying? Um, you probably could apply the, um, what's that joint called? The uh, Bass Pro Fishing Shop. You probably could apply there as a white supremacist to get a job. Not to saying that people who work there are white supremacists, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that if you're a white supremacist trying to get a job there in, in the South, and you know what I'm saying, you probably get a job there. Will you be responding to them? Absolutely. We are going to hold everybody who's lied about me accountable, such as um, everybody who's lied called me a white supremacist. Yeah. They're all going to be held accountable, and we're going to handle them in a courtroom. Kyle Rittenhouse, I appreciate your announcing that tonight, the Media Accountability Project, and of course, we're, we're rooting for justice as we always are. So thank you very much. Good to see you. Thank you, Tucker. And if anybody wants to help join us in this battle, they can donate at tmap.org. All right, so there you have it, man. You see Kyle Rittenhouse is calling out people by names. He called about the uh, dude from the Young Turks was in sync from the Young Turks. He called out Whoopi Goldberg, you know what I mean? He said athletes, I'm pretty sure he's gonna call out LeBron James. You know what I mean? He said he was a big LeBron James fan until he did that. You know, so... Oh, man. I don't think LeBron James called him a murder. I think LeBron James called him a crybaby. Whatever. I don't know what LeBron James called him, but he did say athletes and people who were coming at him. And people was talking reckless about Kyle Rittenhouse without knowing all the facts. And it was all over the place. So, you know what I'm saying? If he's doing this, you know, Cardi B is doing this, um, you know, as content creators... You have to really be re uh, responsible now of what you're putting out there because don't just put nothing out there without some facts. That's why I kind of slow down with videos and not trying to see something and react to it real quick without information because I'd rather get information and be accountable for what I do. You know what I mean? So when my page hit 2 million by three months from now because you guys want to share this and people want to follow, hopefully, right? But once I hit that, that threshold, I won't be in a Tasha K situation, you know what I mean? But let me know how y'all think about this, man, about this Kyle Rittenhouse now suing people for calling him a murderer. And by definition, he's not a murderer because he's found innocent for that whole situation. But let me know how y'all think about this, man. 
um i think in my in my opinion this is this is very interesting i just want to see how it play out you know i want to see how it play out i want to see if these people will be held accountable i want to see where these um these trials are going to be because it's a good chance it's somewhere that's not favorable to Kyle Rittenhouse. It may not work out, but if it's something that somewhere is favorable to Kyle Rittenhouse, it may work out. You know what I mean? But it's a lot. It's a lot to see, man. I, I'll, I'll stay tuned on it, and I find this to be very interesting. You know what I mean? But let me know your thoughts on that in the comments, man. I appreciate your time. All right, man. Till next time. Peace.